So, ladies and gentlemen, um, in this example, we have the focus and we're given a vertex. And they're also saying that the center is at the origin. Now, um, the difference on this one is rather than giving you two foci or giving you the vertices, the vertice given us one point. But fortunately, since we, know the, uh, since we know what the center is, we can identify what the other one is. And we don't really need to. We just need to find the value of A, and we need to find the value of B. Again, the first step, plot the information. Okay, Plot the information. Center is at the origin, so I'm going to plot that. Nice little C. Okay. Next thing, we need to plot the focus. And I, use, I know this is usually when students have trouble. They're like, how am I going to plot a radical number? Right? That's an irrational number. Well, ladies and gentlemen, just your estimation techniques is going to be fine. Um, if you do 3, uh, let's do square root of 2. Where should the square root of 2 fall between as far as our numbers? Well, we know the square root of 1 is 1, right? And we know, so we have 1. And then we have the 2. The square root of 2 should fall in between those two values. Does everybody agree with me? So it's somewhere in between 1 and 2, correct? So let's just, uh, let's just go by, to make things simple, let's just think of it as like 1.5. So if you'd, um, <clears throat> or you, actually, I'm sorry, you could just even simplify. Where'd my calculator go? Even if you just approximated, even if you approximated, 3 times the square root of 2, you would get 4.24. Okay, So just approximate. It doesn't need to be exact. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and Again, that's your foci. That's your other foci. Now, odd, I'm sorry, that's 0, 3, 3 halves. I'm sorry, that's up and down, isn't it? Don't make that mistake. So here's the one foci I know. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if I know the one foci is going above my center, what does that tell me about my major axis? It has to be vertical. And if my major axis is vertical, then I have to use this equation. Because remember, a squared is always under the y when you have a vertical major axis, right? Now, you don't need to figure out what the other foci is or focus is, but it's pretty easy. If I'm going up 3 times square root of 2 to get one focus, all I need to do is go down right, to find the other one. But you don't even need to. All we need to do is figure out what a, b, and c is, so, or just a and b. Well, the distance from here to here is c. So I don't need to find the other point. I just need to know what the, one point, what the value is. From the center to your foci is c. So c is equal to 3 square root of 2. Um, and then the vertex is 0, negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's my vertex. I could easily find the other vertex, Brendan, but I don't need to. All I need to know is, what is the distance from the center to the vertex? Forget about the direction. What is that distance? And the distance is 5. So we could say um, a is equal to 5. Now, using my formula again, c squared equals a squared minus b squared. c squared is going to be 3 radical 2 squared equals 5 squared minus b squared. So what's 3 radical 2 times 3 radical 2? That's it squared, right? So 3 times 3 is 9. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2. 9 times 2 is 18. So b squared equals 7. We already know what a is, which is 5. So we can square that to give us 25. So I can say a squared then is 25. So a squared is 25, b squared is 7. And the origin's at 0, 0, right? So I can easily just write x squared over 7 plus um, y squared over 25 equals 1. Okay. 